Hi guys and welcome back to Trash Arts News where we bring you the latest in all things trash art. Today it's that segment once again, Trash Artists, where we bring you talent from behind and in front of the camera. Today we'll be featuring Tony Newton. Tony Newton from Vestra Pictures is a prolific producer, writer and director known for the Grindsploitation series, 60 Seconds to Die and Toxic Schlock. Vestra Pictures and Trash Arts have produced various horror anthologies together. In fact, Trash Arts wouldn't have got into anthologies if it wasn't for Tony and Vestra Pictures. Hi, I'm Tony Newton, a filmmaker from Clacton, Essex in the UK. I love horror. I love making schlock films, horror films, gore films. I am addicted to horror. I'll probably do other stuff, I have done other stuff, comedy horror and stuff like that. But I am literally drawn to horror. I remember I was about five years old and my mum and dad won a VCR player and I think we watched Evil Dead, and that film stayed with me. I was five years old at the time, but that film stayed with me. And since then, we'd rent out films like Friday the 13th series and Nightmare on Elm Street. And, but when you're a kid and you're scared, that will stay with you. I mean, if you showed someone now, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and they're 18, 19, there's gonna be no effect, really. But when you're showing a kid a horror film, you're literally, scared shitless. I couldn't sleep for about a month over Freddy Krueger. I thought, okay, this is a film where you're not even safe in your nightmares. And I was literally, I was drawn to horror in such a big way. It scared me literally shitless. And I think now I'm on a constant quest to be scared. There's so many films out, horror films, schlock, gore horror films, that are really good. I mean, I'm addicted to B-movies and stuff like that, but not many films scare me. I think over the last couple of years, Martyrs took me sideways. That shook me and I was scared. And recently, I think Hereditary, that film was literally, it blew me away. I was in shock that we had a film like that out today. It's such a superb horror film. That is like The Exorcist for this generation. And it gives people hope, it really does. Superb film. I think it was about 10 years ago that I started taking Filmmaking a bit more seriously. Um, when I was growing up, you didn't have places like YouTube or anything like that to showcase your work. So it was a case of you make it, it gets stuck on the shelf. No one's going to see this. You haven't got the contacts like you've got nowadays as well. You can go on Facebook, you can go to find someone's email and chat with these people back and forth. You didn't have this years ago. So I think it was about 10 years ago I started taking it more seriously. Started chatting with different filmmakers and writing film scripts. And a lot of film scripts I wrote for people, I mean, even for free, I've sat there and wrote film scripts for free. I've been script doctor, ghost writer on stuff for years. Over the last couple of years, when I really got into creating anthologies and putting things together, then I started taking this literally further and further. I think we can get this distributed. We can get this out there. And it, it continued and spurred on from then. It really did. I think my favorite film that I've worked on is Toxic Schlock, which I co-wrote and directed with Sam Mason Bell and the guys at Trash Arts. Every actor in that film was superb. They were really on, on the bloody ball. I reckon a lot of them got that film script and thought, you know, what the hell are they asking me to do here? But all of them were troopers, they just went out there and did it. I think that film, in a way, we made it for us. You know, we weren't scared. There was subjects in that film that are really touchy and, you know, you don't want to touch on. But we went out there and just made it. And it's a really fun film. I, I put it on an old chuckle. You know, every single thing in that film is meant to be the way it is. You know, we've got so much crazy. It's meant to be a mind fuck of a movie. It's meant to be literally like, what the hell am I watching here? And it is. And I, I love that film. Toxic Schlock is my favourite. It really is. And the added bonus and cherry on the cake there is that it's out by my favourite, you know, distributor of all time, Troma, which is fantastic. I'm constantly writing scripts and short films working on new projects. I'm working on so many anthology films with the guys at Trash Arts at the moment as well. All of Trash Arts, the whole team are amazing. They have so much passion. I mean, literally for this, for filmmaking, for the business, they have so much passion. I do as well. So we are literally, we're working on projects together. Both of us are like, every second, every spare second we've got, we're working on projects together. And, you know, it's nice to find some people in the same, you know, same ethos and the same way of thinking as me. 
where oh, I want to, you know, with the excitement and passion, you know, literally to be wanting to create and create and create and make this and do this. I mean, we can we've worked on films. Sometimes it's three in the morning, and we're both just sitting there, you know, going back and forward with ideas, working on this, sending each other cuts of this and films and working on this. But we've got such passion for it. I get up every morning and I'm literally buzzing, I'm pumped, I'm ready to check my email, I'm ready to check for this and this, I've got so much buzz, you know, about the whole thing. Myself and Trash Arts, we are on a journey, we're on a mission, we're on a mission to support indie film, to get young and up and coming filmmakers, you know, notice, to get them out there, and that's our aim with these anthology films, to get up young and up and coming filmmakers to get them not just on places like YouTube and stuff like that, but to get them in a DVD and a film distributed so they can get noticed. We want to help indie filmmakers, and with Trash Arts Collective and myself, we want to push these young and up and coming directors, give them confidence, get people out there, give them internet movie database credits and keep pumping and pumping, you know, because it's not all about, you know, if you're a screenwriter and you're writing and writing and writing, you're sending off and you're getting knockbacks. That's most of this industry is, or if you're even making short films to send them off. There's so many people failing, and there's different levels because a failure to one person is a success to another. So literally, you know, if you're out there and you're starting out at the moment, don't worry about knockbacks, don't send it off. Don't even send your scripts off to someone because they'll probably nick it anyway. Literally, get your script, use whatever means you have possible, and create and make that film yourself. And get it up on YouTube and get people seeing and get, start building an audience, building friends, building fans and start doing it that way. We're in different times, we're in changing times now. I think with horror, which is my favourite you know, subject, genre, it's my addiction horror. I think with that in film, we are going to see more films like Unfriended, Searching, that style of film. I think people can relate to it because they've got a smartphone on all the time. When you're watching a film like Unfriended, it's like having, you know, the smartphone in your palm of your hand, but on the screen there. So that people can relate to that. I don't think it's going to be like a lot of films. It's like a staple in time where it's going to be like that is a, of that era. I think those type of films will be the future. I think they'll be the only horror films we are going to see. I really do. I think related to the Internet and where that is going to be the future of films. It really is. And how we're seeing things, you know, with the... Um, split screen and stuff like that i think we're going to see so much more of that it's going to be a be a game changer it really is and i i hope to make a lot of films you know around the internet and web and stuff like that as well so that was tony newton thank you guys again for tuning into trash outs news for daily updates don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you tomorrow